have to hold on so tightly. This is Luke here and welcome back to another video. Now today I'm bringing you the video which you've all been asking for. It's stage three time for my Golf R. Now of course I'm down here today at QS Tuning. Uh, I dropped the car off a little while ago for them to basically take this car from stock all the way to stage three where we are running today. This engine bay looks drastically different than what it did when I dropped it off and I cannot wait to take it for its first drive, which is exactly what we're gonna be doing today. Now, of course, I will introduce you to Alex here at QST very shortly, but before we do, I'd like to give a massive shout out to the sponsor of today's video, Car Vertical. Now, Car Vertical is, in my opinion, the ultimate tool for finding the right used car. It basically runs a complete check throughout the whole vehicle. Now, this detects things like whether there's any mileage fraud, whether it's been in any accidents, whether it's reported stolen anywhere in the world, and also whether it's been imported or exported, to name a few. Now, it is available in over 20 countries, and for a small cost, it is 100% worth it, so you can make sure that you're buying a true and correct car. Here's an example of a report which I did on my M140i, which luckily came back flagging no issues whatsoever. As you can see, it shows there are no mileage discrepancies or any serious previous repairs that have been carried out. What is quite interesting though, is you can actually see the exact day which I picked the car up in 2019. Moving over to the report I did on my Golf R, you can again see the exact day which I took ownership of the car and also the exact images used by the previous owner when advertising the car for sale. On the flip side though, here's an example report of a not so honest car showing a lot of issues indeed. Car Vertical uses multiple databases to ensure reliable information, making sure every aspect of each car is covered and recorded. As you can see here, this car has suffered some pretty extensive damage which is backed up in this case with some real life photos presumably taken by an insurance company. Now you can find all the details down in the description down below to Car Vertical. You can also get yourself a 10% discount uh, using all the details down in the description down below. But a massive thank you to the guys at Car Vertical for sponsoring today's video. And with that said, let's go take this thing for a first drive with Alex here at QST. Here we go. We're joined again with Alex. Oh, I'm definitely gonna need to get used to this clutch. It's the shorter shift as well is Yeah, shorter. it's mad. What is, oh. it, is it a money shift they call it when you get the wrong gear? Something like that. Yeah. I'm, I'm gonna stall it in this video, I imagine. Hopefully. We already have, but you said he wanted <laughs> yeah, to put it in the video. Not going in there, no. <laughs> this is the first time I've actually ever driven you in a car. Is it? I think it is. Normally I'm there and you're scaring me. Well, yeah. how, how, how times have changed, <laughs> how times have changed. So obviously I dropped it up, completely stock, a couple of weeks ago. Yeah. And well, it, it's a different car. I mean, you opened the bonnet for me when I got there and... It's all nice it, and clean. Yeah, well, yeah, it's not very nice and clean, thank you. I've, I've dropped it off filthy. <laughs> um, but I mean, so much has changed. I mean, you've done Ooh, literally everything. Yeah. 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 I mean, you've done literally everything on it. So if you can remember, give us a little, a little run round. So yeah, Luke went with the Turbo Technic V5, um, really popular turbo upgrade on these. Um, our Stage 3 ECU software, SAX, Sintered Clutch Kit in it, uh, intercooler intake, upright spark plugs, catch can, high pressure fuel pump internals, uh, probably missing a load of vitals. Oil, oil cooler? Stuff. Yep, oil cooler, spark plugs, full bar map sensor, I said high pressure fuel pump internals, downpipe. Yep. Um, essentially, it's a full fat stage three. Uh, we put new uh, fuel injectors in it as well, just where it's done a few miles. Yep. Um, turn off traction controls, oh God. <laughs> Did you feel the torque you've got now? <laughs> Oh, mate. Jesus Christ. When you get around here, slow it right down, go down to second, go all yeah. the way to like seven and a quarter in second. <laughs> Jesus. 
Jesus. Oh, that turbo as well. It's good, isn't it? <laughs> it's just it's so much fun being a manual. <laughs> Mate, it is. And actually, we haven't spoken about power, have we? At all. We haven't, yeah. So, we're running this on real low boost. Luke wants to do track days with it. It's a high mileage car. We did have it in more power at one point, but I just didn't want to be irresponsible and send out the door with a load of power mm -hmm. on a high mileage car. Um, so it's running 1.95 bar boost, which it sounds like a lot of boost. It obviously is still a lot of boost, but for one of these, it's real low boost. Um, it's running 506 horsepower, 580 newton meters of torque. Um, we always cap the torque on the manual cars anyway, um, just because we've had issues with gearboxes. Um, so yeah, it's just essentially a really safe, low output build that's yeah. still, as you saw by his reaction, is yeah. Jesus. This is going to get me in a lot of trouble. <laughs> <laughs> They were spinning up. <laughs> oh my days, mate! You've you've built you've built it's a good monster. Fun. It's proper good fun. <laughs> oh dear! It's it's so much more fun and engaging than DSG. Oh, yeah. Like we do so Absolutely. many DSGs, and you always get like the. I don't think there's a right or wrong answer. And one isn't better than the other. It just depends what you want from a car. If you want to do fast quarter miles, 100, yeah. 200 DSG. If you actually want to go and have a lot of fun in the car. You can't beat the exactly. manual. It is yeah. so much more engaging and fun. Absolutely. Um, especially just yeah, going all through the gears. I like, <laughs> yeah. never gets old. Anyway, I think what we should do is actually go back to HQ and actually show the people around what it. What we've done, yeah. Because yeah. it's quite something under there. And then we'll probably send me on my way in and, well, just drive this thing for <laughs> a lot of miles. <laughs> okay, back at HQ, mate. That, I can't get you over enjoyed it. it. I, I can't wait to get driving again. Get some more miles <laughs> Yeah, that. absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Um, so obviously, yeah, this is looking a lot different than what it did when uh, when we dropped it off. Yeah, um, a bit, bit of a drastic change has gone on. Yeah, definitely. Uh, both so. obviously in terms of performance and how it looks under here as well. Yeah, I mean, obviously everyone already knows what's gone in it from when I dropped it off. Yeah. Um, but it's just cool to see Different it all Different seeing it all, all actually fitted. fitted on the car, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. So a lot, it's interesting, a lot of stuff you actually can't see. So obviously mm. the intercooler's buried in the front panel, you yep. can't see that. High pressure fuel pump internals are in the original fuel pump, you can't see that. Um, so we'll start on the visual side of it. Obviously you've got your carbon intake, um, turbo tetanus intake pipe, which comes with the V5 turbocharger. Uh, you've got NGK race plugs in there, factory core pack still. Um, you've got your, it's a bit of a mix and match catch cam, but it works. Oil cooler kit on it, uh, Cobra downpipe, full bar map sensor in the up pipe. And then all the software, I suppose. Then yeah, then the ECU the software clutch. and Actually, the SACS, the clutch. SACS yeah. clutch. Obviously that's a fairly a lot of work critical has gone into uh, it. component. Now yeah. there are definitely still a lot of bits which need to be done. Yeah. Especially the brakes. Um, so that yeah. we're going to get booked in uh, to be done as soon as possible because we're still on the stock brakes and I did that on purpose, don't worry. Um, and some better front tyres as well. Yes, the yes. So, a bit, yeah, a bit wheels, tyres, uh, coilovers, there, there's so much to do, so much to do. But yeah, a big thank you to yourselves. Oh, well, thank um, you for coming down. For, uh, well, for kind of taking on the project really and transforming then it. You all need to get onto him to turn it up a bit more as well. Yeah, I think we're going to go <laughs> meth injection as well. Um, to definitely, yeah, turn up a bit more. But mate, thank you so much. As nice, always, QST's details can be found in the description along with everyone who's been a part of this build. But yeah, I think that's all for me to say is, well, goodbye. I'll see you soon. Yeah, no worries, have a safe journey back. <laughs> yeah, I will have a very Don't fun journey it. back. I won't, <laughs> I'll get a call. Mate, I'm on the M25, I've just hit a lorry. <laughs> no, always a pleasure, mate, always a pleasure. But I think what we'll do now, we'll hop back in the car and go for another drive. Listen to this, right, window down. I hope this is gonna pick it up, but. Just turbo noise, induction noise, and then of course, a few little pops and bangs from the exhaust as well, which I think I'm gonna turn off. Um, yeah, I think I'm gonna turn it completely off so there's no pops and bangs, just because I wanna hear this. Turbo. <laughs> oh my days. Third gear, I'll tell you that, third gear is the gear. <laughs> I 
<laughs> and yes, by the way, behind me is all the original parts which have come off the car. The guys at QST have kindly uh, sent me away with all of that, but I am blown away by this. Absolutely blown away. <laughs> it is so much fun. I cannot wait to get this thing on track and drive it properly in anger on some of the tracks around the UK and beyond. Um, hopefully it's not going to be too long until we can get this thing over into Europe. Uh, Nürburgring is calling me. I've never been and I think this is going to be the first car to go without a doubt. But there's so much more that needs to be done to this car. Next up is Brakes. Um, a big sponsor of this build is of course Forge Motorsport. And I've got a set of six pots going on this. So that's something which you can keep your eyes peeled for very soon. I'll be taking the car back uh, to Alex at QST for that to be done. Um, and I mean the list goes on. I mean we've got the whole interior to be done. Um, we've got coilovers, wheels, tyres. Um, maybe a little bit of aesthetics. I'm gonna wrap the car. A few people have been asking me, especially on Instagram, uh, whether I'm gonna wrap it. <laughs> yes, I'm gonna wrap it. Um, uh, yeah, got something quite special for that, which I'm quite excited to, to share with you. Got a little underpass, hang on, bear with. Down into first. Um, yeah, there's there's so much which is going to be done to this car. The power and the performance to, from stock to stage three is only just the beginning. In fact, if I'm completely honest with you, there's still more which I want to do uh, power-wise for this car. But I'm just going to enjoy um, my drive home. This is literally my first drive of the car. Um, and I think the smile says it all. The smile says it all. I am so happy with this. Um, and yeah, I mean, let me know what kind of videos do you want to see with this? Shall I do a subscriber reaction video? Um, friends and family reaction video? Of course, there's going to be a ton of track content coming as well. Um, and then just the generic vlogs of just how this car is going to progress, because this is literally the first mods I've done to this car. Before this, the car was stock, <laughs> which is absolutely mental um, to, to kind of put my head around. But yeah, I, <laughs> so epic, so, so epic. You have to hold on so tightly. It is an absolute rocket ship. <laughs> anyway, folks, I think that is going to wrap things up for me today. First drive in my Stage 3 Mark 7 Golf R manual. I'm so glad I went for the manual. Oh, my days. It's, it's all starting to come together. And you know what? It's literally only just started. But, I mean, roads are a little bit damp. <laughs> it's lively. <laughs> it's very, very lively. But... Like I said, a huge, huge thank you to everyone who's been a part of this build. Um, the guys at Curious Tuning for obviously fitting and tuning the car uh, for, and fitting all the parts. Um, some of the sponsors like Cobra Sport, like Custom Vag Parts and also Forge Motorsport as well, uh, to name a few. Uh, yeah, it's, it's absolutely nuts to have a proper build starting on the channel. I mean, this, this thing is going to be like no expense spared. I, I, it's it's going to cost me a lot of money to, to really go to town on this, but I'm so ready for it. And if this is the first step, then bring it on, bring it on. But yeah, like I said, let me know down in the comments the kind of videos you want to see with the car. Um, and by all means, uh, we'll make it happen because this thing is uh, it's going to be sticking around long term, that is for sure. But um, I think for now, at least, that is going to wrap things up. I hope you guys have enjoyed. If you have, please do make sure you leave a like and make sure you subscribe for all the adventures still to come.